Yo, first ascendies. It's been a while since we've had really any news for the first ascendant. We've had a couple of dev notes, but they've basically been talking about, you know, the changes in animation and a bit of skill and stuff like that. I don't think it was too pertinent of a update. There wasn't enough there, in my opinion, but they do have a dev Q&A that they have actually revealed to us on their actual Discord. So I'm going to go through these and give my opinion on what I think, but there are some really good questions in here, some really cool answers, and one or two of them are actually really, really damn good. So but without further ado, like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and I can look to making more. We'll definitely see how this content plays out, maybe release another one to see how it is looked at on the channel and if it's uh, not doing so great, I may set up a sub channel for this game specifically because I am very excited for this game and I hope you are too. So, are the facial animation keyframed or motion captured? And the developers say both methods are used in the first descendant. First, facial motion capture is used as a primary technique, and then keyframe editing is conducted for more detailed depictions and expressions that suit the character. Additionally, we utilize our self-developed tool, Auto Lip Sync, to create suitable mouth shapes for the dialogue of numerous NPCs. Auto Lip Sync automatically interprets recorded voice files to create appropriate mouth shapes, enabling more natural acting hopefully this works out because obviously lip syncing is one of the things that people do look out for when they are speaking to npcs or anything like that it it, it adds to the immersion it is it's not a gameplay thing but it adds to the immersion and when we play games we want to get immersed now this next one is pretty big a release date or the next test and they say we have plans for another test and now we have official confirmation that there is going to be another beta test but a fixed date must wait we will have announcements when it's ready so they are basically still working through all the feedback that they received from the first beta test which they have openly said was in like the hundreds and thousands so they are actually going through them which i really appreciate by the way normally we have a beta test two weeks before the game's launch which makes no sense whatsoever but this beta test was actually a beta test they took the information that people played and got the information from the feedback and have actually acted on that feedback. That in itself makes this a worthwhile beta test. This is how beta tests should be. Now, on to the next one. Will there be more language support? And they say, so far we have six languages available and are planning to expand language support at launch. And I assume uh, more will come after launch based on the terminology. Will this have crossplay and crossover? Now, this is massive for me because I've kind of now been spoilt where I can play my games anywhere I want, especially with cloud gaming. I can just go to any platform I want almost and just play it in my household. Even from like my Xbox, I can start my gaming on my Xbox. If that game is available also on PC um, Game Pass, my sync, my save is automatically synced to my PC Game Pass, and I can just continue here, freeing up the Xbox for someone else to play. So this sort of thing, definitely for me, is a massive, massive thing. And they say, we are targeting to launch simultaneously on platforms such as Steam, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, etc. No mention of Epic Games, unfortunately. As well as provide cross-progression, which is huge, by the way. Cross-progression is huge. Um, you know, this was one of the biggest reasons I actually didn't play Warframe. Because Warframe didn't have cross-progression. So my progress that was on Xbox or PC, I can't remember which one I played it on. I couldn't take over to the PlayStation where my friends were. And I would have had to start all over again. Which meant I just basically just gave up. I didn't play it. Um... But cross-progression is huge. I'm happy to see you know more companies doing this because it just means your game is more accessible. And of course they will have crossplay, which again is huge. It means you can play with your friends no matter what platform you're on. And your save, you know, your progression is available no matter what platform you're on. Awesome stuff. I'm really happy about that. Can item data from the beta test be provided to make support software? For example, damage calculators. As many of the game features are under improvement, 
the data and system from the Steam beta test may be unsuitable for any measure at the current period. Therefore, we will need some internal decision making on how we are going to open our information, which will take place closer to launch. Now, I kind of understand this. A lot is changing between the first beta and even the second beta, and it may even change more from the second beta to the soft launch if they're going to have one or to the actual release. They are, they are actually taking these betas seriously and are actually using them as a beta. So, I can understand that. I get the, the, the reason why the community wants to see this stuff, to compare past and present, but I, may, I understand the decision they're making there. Will there be any recruits for community moderators or helpers? We have plans to ask our community members for roles to keep our community healthy. Detailed announcements will be in hand soon in our Discord channel. So if you're looking to become a Discord moderator of any sort, they are going to be opening uh, applications for you to be able to do that. Now, this is a big one as well, and it's the final question. Are all characters' powers getting revised? Just as we showed VS's skill improvement through a recent video, based on the last Steam Beta test feedback, we have reviewed and significantly improved the usability and effectiveness of each character's skills. We also have some new unreleased features to show in the future. And that's where the Q&A ended. Now, that's actually pretty big. So each character has actually been revised in one way or another. They've had their skills improved, be it like the actual skill itself. It's had visual Q, uh, improvements as well as we've seen in the past. It's And the fact that they're adding new features that they are actually like kind of teasing with means that there are i assume they're going to be something worthwhile to and beneficial to the player which is always good right but the biggest one for me uh, at least the two biggest ones for me is the fact that there is confirmed crossplay which we already knew um is the confirmation of crossplay and cross save that's huge to me absolutely huge it just means we can play any way we want and enjoy the game and of course that there's going to be another beta test confirmed with just no release date as of yet well let me know what you think in the comment section below what do you think of this news does it get you excited for the first descendant not excited i personally really enjoyed the first beta test it had its quirks it had its problems but it was a beta and it did its purpose and hopefully we will get an improved version for the second beta and it will bring more people on board let me know what you think in the comment section below let's have that discussion and i will see you in the next video remain legend <laughs>